that's what let's, I let's, get it, let's get into the energy. Let's get into the energy conversations right away because um, government restructures one billion legacy debt with IPPs. Now, um, the the government has successfully restructured one billion in legacy debt owed to independent power producers, marking a significant milestone in the country's energy sector reform efforts. Now, this announcement made by the finance minister, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam, in, during a joint press conference held on July 1st, that was yesterday, alongside the Bank of Ghana and the International Monetary Fund. Now, I quote, we have successfully concluded negotiations with several IPPs to restructure over one billion in legacy debt. Now, let me end the quote here, Larry. Yeah. So, this is restructuring, not just deferring the pain, <laughs> right? Deferring the problem. Uh, please. Yeah. I think the IPPs have also come out to say that what the what the finance minister said is not true. That they've agreed yeah. to restructure? Yeah, I think they, they issued a oh, statement saying that. Really? Because yeah. all the stories I have seen so far are about the restructuring. No, I, I think I had I had something to that effect. Oh, really? Yes. We'll find, I'll find oh, out. Yes, well, we, can, we can all Google it. That, uh, I mean, it is not true that they had agreed, they had agreed on, okay. oh, yeah, on something with them. Or maybe I'm confusing that with the, with the cement people well no i don't think so different. but they, they, um, they attend the meeting, they're, so. they're, okay so they're restructuring the parliamentary approval is required yeah so this is going to go to parliament before yeah. the final yeah. terms yeah um, will, will, will come will take effect but yes i mean yeah but you know this thing about the ipps they've been out there complaining every now and then that they are not being paid yes okay yes meanwhile government and then the purc has been using the fact that they are old mm. to justify ev uh, increments every now and then. Okay? Oh, that fuel price is going up internationally. A while ago, we were discussing that. And that the IPVs would have to buy fuel to power the generators and then give us light. Mm. Okay? And that has been used, I mean, for persuasive effect. And we've all fallen for it. And we pay. No comment. Now, if the IPPs are now and <clears throat> saying that they are not being paid, yeah. and now government is now out there saying that, oh, you know something, we have to restructure this whole thing again, <laughs> then there is an issue. Again, was it not the same thing that, you know, led to the doomsaw that people were talking about? With the energy minister being called upon to say that, hey, you know something, give us a timetable. Yeah. Let's know whatever it is. He said, oh, no, 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 there's no doomsaw. So there is doom so, and that that is how come the lights. Uh, you are not paying the people, the IPPs. That yeah. is how come the light is going off. He said, no, 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 no. For him, there is no doom so, and that if the people want, they should they bring should their put, own timetable. Yeah, table. they should bring their own timetable. Yeah. Today, finance minister is coming out to say that oh, you know something. We actually hold hold them, and that we are going into a certain restructuring agreement with this. Let's Google it. I'm sure that, I mean, the people... So say, it's interesting because it looks like the one billion yeah. is not the only debt. No. It's just part of yes. the debt that is owed in yes. the restructured this yes. part. And you the know debt. they have threatened several times that they were going to shut down their generators. And they, even they started. Because they couldn't buy fuel to power the generators. Yeah. How are they going to give you light in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, the, you know, the politics of this country has changed. Okay, we are no longer in the days of old, in the 90s or much earlier than that, where you come out and throw anything at the people and then you go score free. Yeah. These days, people are so enlightened, and they can and they have technology in the you know in the palm of their hands, and so the least of thing they are checking up one thing or the other, mm -hmm. and so whether you are speaking the truth or you are lying. Okay, people know. And yeah. they can put it directly in front of you. Yeah. And you will be embarrassed. I mean, such uh, uh, claims, wild claims, when people are sitting somewhere enjoying, you know, enjoying. Most of these guys have generators at, in their homes, so they don't care. Most of them, 
okay, are driving state vehicles. Maybe generators that they don't even fuel. Is that, they don't fuel it. Who? They don't fuel it. A while ago, President Mama was talking about how DSTV under his uh, uh, presidency would not be given to his appointees. Because these guys are even paid entertainment allowances anyway. Okay? They, 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 what, what, what don't they have? They, uh, uh, they drive free cars. They don't buy the fuel that they, they, they are, the fuel they are throwing at us. Before the man gets, out, gets up, the, the, his car is filled. When he's at the conference or whatever program, the air condition is running. The, 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 is yeah, running. the engine is on. The, the car is early because he has to <laughs> move into the car that is fully, you know, chilled. chilled. It's, you, 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 you get what we are dealing yeah, with. So yeah. they throw this thing it's at so us. It's so bizarre to me, though. I mean, it doesn't make it's, any they sense. They throw this thing at us. When you are talking about fuel, 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 they don't care. Listen, I sit here and I get fuel coupons from friends. Mm. It's good to have friends in high places. Oh, yeah, well, I do. I, do. I, have, I have good friends sometimes. <laughs> I have good friends. And, and, you know, if, if these friends are giving you this, I mean, you can imagine what they are what getting. What they themselves what are they getting. What they exactly. Wow. Do you understand? You make a good point. What they if, themselves. If, if the extra of what they have, the overflow. The spillover. The spillover is what yeah, they are I giving you. I say Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, so when you get all that, you, yeah. I mean... Let's 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 care for each other more and more, okay? Then mm. this, this, the despondency is getting too much. The disappointment, you know, in everywhere. The youth, people who are ready to now, there's a word called japa. Mm. People who are ready to leave the country with their whole family yeah. Yeah. and their excuses that listen, I love Ghana, but I can't make ends meet here. And so he's packed his bag and baggage with his family, babies, as, and gone into wherever. Most of them are heading to uh, 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 Canada. I mean, you, 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 and they talk about the cost of living. Now, even if they earn 20,000 Ghana cities every month, that is not enough to take care of their needs and then, uh, you know, their dependents. And that they would rather go there and go and work where they don't know. How it will be. How it will be. You yeah. are in your 50s. Mm. I'm sure if you get an opportunity right now, you also leave. No. Are you sure? <laughs> no. Can no. Grow. no. You know? Where am I going to? To go and do what? And to go and start what from where? It, well, but the others who are older than you who are going. God, okay. God speak to them. When the government came out with the, the you know, good for... Uh, for oil, yes. I think people bought into it. They, I mean, it sounded quite nice that, okay, I mean, with buying gold, mm. okay, and using that to trade for oil, for oil yeah. was going to be good and that we were going to be cushioned somehow. But I then, as we speak now, nobody even remembers that policy anymore. <laughs> when the minister is talking about it, I mean, he talks about, it, oh, somebody thought of it, some, it's been implemented, it's been shaped and so on. I mean, okay. MPA is no longer talking about good for oil as well. And so where are we going? Mm. And prices of goods and services are just going up by the day. Yeah. Okay? I'm sure we'll get to what uh, uh, Mr. Francis Poku talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk band. about it. We'll I get mean, to that. We'll get to that. Uh, Kweku, I don't know where we are heading. Th well, things are really tough. The, let me just give you a quote from um, the same story. The restructuring of PPAs, that's the Purchase Power Agreements, um, with IPPs, independent power producers, like AXA, Amandi, Senate, Sempower, Car Powership, Early Power, and Sunon and Sogli, will alleviate financial pressures and enhance operational efficiencies. Now, this initiative underscores our commitment to resolving long-standing challenges in the energy sector while promoting sustainable development goals. Now, it sounds like um, a fantastically worded. Uh, but this is, you know, I haven't you heard this to me? Haven't you heard? Haven't that, you heard this that actually doesn't before? mean anything. It, it means nothing. You know. Anyway. And, and, and they always come under the umbrella of challenges, challenges, challenges. All right. This conversation about the energy sector and the various things that are going on there, um, the 
uh, finance minister says that there's been a restructuring um, of the debt portfolio and uh, you know the agreements, the purchase power, power purchase agreements with the IPPs in order to allow them to continue to function um, and you know whilst they slowly pay back what we owe them. Uh, but there's another story on citynewsroom.com. It says, debt restructuring. No deal has been reached with the government. This is coming from the IPPs. And uh, quickly, let me just read that um, here. Uh, it has, so it's a quote. I will just jump straight to the quote. It has come to our attention that the Minister of Finance has made public statements indicating that a deal has been reached with independent power producers regarding debt restructuring. We must categorically state that this assertion is misleading and inaccurate. Okay. The last engagement with some of the IPPs and the government of Ghana's negotiation team occurred in April 2024. And since then, no agreement on any terms has been reached. The posture and generalization that the government has secured a debt restructuring agreement with the IPPs are misleading and amounts to public deception, he added. Let's see who the he is. Uh, so the statement uh, was copied to uh, City Business News as the chief executive officer of the um, independent power generators. Um, of Ghana, that is Dr. Elik Plim Komla Akpetobo. Okay, so he's the one who's saying this, and he says that it ain't true. Yeah. And the minister has gone on to repeat the same statement. And he the, says that the it's only parliamentary approval that's left. Would, so, but then the IPPs have also not come out to react to you know, the uh -huh, this latest, yeah, this latest well, statement. Yeah, 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 because he, because he, because he even goes on to say, the, the, the minister goes on to talk about uh, the restructuring of PPAs with IPPs like uh, AXA, Amandi, Senate, Sempower, Car Powership, LE Power. He's naming them. Unless, of course, they are not part of the IPPs. But I think they are part But he of refers them. to them as IPPs. Exactly. And this is the gentleman who, you know, is their, is their team okay, executive. Okay, well. So who do we believe? Yeah, the so minister. We're going to find out how soon today, <laughs> by all means. <laughs> Something's going to happen anyway. Paul, Goku, yes, uh, quick thoughts on um, this one and then let's move on to the second starting conversation. Let, let me greet you. You're now starting, ah, you're now starting hey, with hey, <laughs> ah, all the ah. things you have said. You are, going, you are about to talk about S. <laughs> 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 Good morning to our viewers and uh, <laughs> Why, why are you... Uh, allow me to flow, please. Can I go on now? What's your opinion of our There's only one fan of Shatawale in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Her name is Pele Siaba. Today mm -hmm. is her birthday. Pele, happy birthday. Yes. The guy has really started a And uh, as we speak, yes. in April of this year, mm. government and independent power producers had a meeting. Yeah. At that meeting, it was to restructure uh, Ghana's energy debt. I can state on authority eh, that one, car power, two, AXA, mm. three, Senate, mm -hmm. four, Sunon Asogli, mm -hmm. and then Twin City. These IPPs, and I state, these IPPs mm. rejected government's haircut in April. I see. Government has come out yesterday that it has reached an agreement with these IPPs and that there has been a haircut of some 1 billion USD. It is false. Hmm. Really? And I state, it is false. Why are we attempting to deceive the public How do you say making it's false? the uh, populace believe that uh, our finance minister is working so hard, or better yet, our energy minister is working so hard, so therefore he's been able to uh, secure that deal with the IPPs, when in actual fact it's non-existent? Yes, uh, there's been some form of commitment, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, on the part of the IPPs, to um, 
go into some form of arrangement with the government. But to come out to state categorically that a hopping 1 billion USD has been agreed by the IPPs uh, as, as debt restructured, I'm afraid that cannot be the case. Hmm. And so, so we await a statement from the IPPs, the chamber of the IPPs, yeah. uh, to refute the claims by the Minister of Finance and then again by the Minister of Energy. Because as far as we are concerned, when that meeting occurred in April, yes, there was some form of commitment on the part of these IPPs to go into that negotiation. The meeting was inconclusive. And at that same meeting, these five um, IPPs I, I, I mentioned earlier indicated that they were not ready for any haircut is it whatsoever. A, is it not possible that the finance minister, being as savvy as he is, has had you know, various other meetings subsequently, and he sorted it out? Because he says, look, the finance minister carries the story on page <clears throat> 8 of the finder. He says here, we have successfully concluded negotiations with several IPPs to restructure over one billion US dollars. So let me In tell you, Paul, okay. one okay. moment. Okay. You know what these guys do? What? They pick and choose which of the companies they, uh, they, they like. So they could... That's which guys? The, uh, sorry, the government. Okay. So they could decide that they are talking to... Mostly it's car power. Mm. Because I think car power's capacity is okay. quite bigger yeah. than the rest. And so deal with car power, pay them, you know, some substantial amount of money. So car power could keep the lights on. And if Sono Asogli goes off, or the others go off, they are able to, you know, massage them. So it's, that is where they hide behind this thing and say that, oh, it's a normal maintenance that is going on. Mm. But mm. what they had actually done is to, you know, oh, look for Kweku, pay Kweku good money. And Kweku, because we'll be, once yeah. he's comfortable, yeah, he won't once talk. he's comfortable, yeah. He, yeah, he won't talk. That's what they, we've written a couple of stories about, you know, about this thing. In, wow, you know, I agree. And, yeah, and you know, how would you? See, you I think the IPPs need to come clear. Um, exactly. That's especially what after they, this, they, news they must but, come out. Yeah, they will so come out, and then Baka Power could say that, oh, listen, they, they are comfortable. No, they so they should stay their own, <laughs> and everybody else should also stay exactly. their own. So, so, there are three issues that led to. Um, the debt that we, or if you like, government inherited. One, distribution issues. Okay. Two, the inefficiencies and ineffectiveness on the part of the distributor, that is ECG. Mm. And then what we have, excess capacity charges also issues. So these three um, have, over the years, contributed to what is called the legacy debt. Now, in September of 2017, Government says, look, I want to get rid of this energy debt. I want us as a country to get ourselves or wean ourselves off the debts you know, in the energy sector. So it introduced what is called the Energy Sector Levies Act. Yeah. And that act is Act 899, all right, in 2017. So it issued bonds. It issued bonds in excess of 6 billion Ghanaian cities to offset some of these uh, debts that plagued the energy sector. Or if you like, still plaguing, because we are not done dealing with them. When it issued the various tranches of the bonds in 2017, 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. one would have thought that by now, we should have been able to deal with virtually all the debts within the energy space. Unfortunately, no, we haven't. Now, the ESLA was reviewed at the mid-year budget review in 2019. And, and this is what happened. It, with your permission, I just want to take us through quickly uh, the various items under the ESLA. Now, it was reviewed uh, in the uh, mid-year budget of 2019. So Act 899 now became Act 997. All right? Okay. And then uh, we have what is called the energy debt recovery levy. That's one of them. Mm. Now, under that, we used to pay 41 pesos for petrol and uh, also uh, diesel. So it was changed, and then we started paying 49 um, pesos per liter for petrol and diesel under the new act. 
Then we also used to pay three pesos for marine gas, um, foreign, and then uh, three pesos um, um, LPG. Uh, that is the, sorry, 37 pesos on LPG. And now it is 41 pesos on LPG. Uh, four pesos of fuel, uh, oil, and then four pesos again with the new act. Uh, 41 pesos for marine gas, foreign, and then it's now become 49 pesos uh, marine gas on the new act. Oh. Now you come to, oh. sorry, price stabilization <laughs> and recovery levy with your permission again. <laughs> it was, <laughs> so is it, there, there's, there's been increments here and there on the uh, ESLA. So it means that the levies that we used to pay um, somewhere in 2017 have increased astronomically. And so one would have expected that with the increase, perhaps almost every debt would have been by cleared. now should have been cleared. Mm. Yeah. But we are still owing. We need to chop the money. So you ask yourself, where are the Esla funds? Yeah. We are raising so much in billions on, on, on let me mention them, on energy debt recovery levy, on price stabilization and recovery levy, on roof fund levy, on energy fund levy, on public lighting levy, and then the last one, national electrification scheme levy. These six give life to the ESLA. Hmm. So why is it that since 2017 till 2024, we haven't made please any form please of progress for um, with the debt plaguing the energy sector? And it is the same reason why Tor has still not come back on its feet. Mm. Why? Because Tor is debt ridden. You are paying all these levies. How come we have not been able to resource and retool Tor? How come we have not been able to deal with the IPPs? All right? What have we done with the excess capacity charges? World Bank has predicted that by next year, our energy debt is going to be hooping around 8 billion USD. Next year, just next year, 2025. Mm. That is a report by the World Bank. And that is where our state is as a country. So, Kweku, if anybody comes out to say that we have done well by, and even jubilate, more or less celebrate that we've, we've restructured our debt. Mm. You remember, um, was it when Friday yes. or so, when the Ministry of uh, Finance came out that, oh, we've been able to uh, deal with, uh, uh, what do you call it, the external debt creditors, and so now Ghana is free, our CD is going to gain weight. Uh, if you have dollar, you have to go and change, and the next day we will be seeing the, the CD begin to appreciate. Please, have you seen any appreciation till date? Nope. All right. Why that deception? I mean, we, we seem to be, you know, Please on the loose to sort of make the public believe that our economy is doing so well, when in actual fact, nothing is really happening. Yes, right. it is good that Thank we gain you. some form of relief on the part of our external creditors, which is good news, but what has been okay. our discipline Thank fiscally? You. Thank you. It's deferred payment. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. You will pay another day. You will day. still pay one day. 